Um, so uh, this isn't about anything. <laughs> it is no agenda or purpose or reason. It just appears to happen. And um, it's like everything, really. Um, we could tell a story about organizing a meeting and that it's about a subject called non-duality and that um, we all, you know, an email was sent and there's a reason for it, but there isn't. It just uh, um, appears to happen. And um, you could say it's sort of... Uh, does um, highlight how everything just happens, how life is utterly centerless, how um, there isn't an orchestrator or an author of anything at all. And that life is authorless and that there isn't anything inside there deciding and choosing to do anything, to think a thought, to breathe a breath or to feel a feeling. Um, that life is just happening and it's like water falling, free falling um, as whatever is. And so this gathering is a sort of, um, in a way where we appear to be talking about the mystery of simply what's appearing to happen. Um, and uh, life essentially without a story, without a center, um, and uh, there, in saying, you know, that there isn't a purpose or uh, that this has no reason, isn't in essence a reason though either. So like, it's not an idea then of purposelessness. It's not then an idea of, oh, there's no purpose to this. It's just simply, appearing to happen and it sort of exposes or shines a light on how everything is like that. Um, and you could say another th thing that appears to happen is that there may be held beliefs about what this is, what it could be, should be, what it's not, whatever. And um, sometimes those beliefs um, are discussed here at these um, gatherings and um, they're met with nothing really. So in a way, it's sort of like a, a mirror almost um, when something is volunteered, really there's nothing responds and it isn't an answer. Um, it's not an answer to a question, but it, it seems like it's a response. And um, but there is no kind of doing it wrong or right or asking clever questions, because if there was a way to ask clever questions or be really intelligent and smart about this, then there'd be grades and levels and um, there'd be somebody who understood what life was, what this is, somebody who knew um, and had an explanation for this, who could answer questions. So um, unfortunately, there isn't anyone here that can answer questions, but there does seem to be responses, thankfully. Um, and uh, there's a gazillion stories in life. And one of those stories that seems to grab hold is an image and an idea of enlightenment or liberation or the loss of self. Um, and they're really all linked to a kind of a fundamental sense that there is something better than what's appearing to happen. And that um, it's almost... Uh, but it's not even almost, it can be an obsession and a hook or a, uh, you know, there's an, an image sort of, of a place to get to where all of this will suddenly make sense. And um, well, we might talk about anything to do with that. Um, there can be images held of not being quite there yet or, well, I haven't quite got it. So this bespeckled uh, 
hat wearing human or whatever doesn't have anything. And it's not that's not a clever sentence. It's just that there isn't anything in there in here that can have anything at all. And really, there isn't anything in there in these little boxes that I'm looking at. But there may be images held of something. So let's talk about those. Um, because really, um, there isn't anyone that can have anything. And um, there's only immediately, inescapably, what's appearing to happen, however that is, whatever thought, idea, or image. So, um, so let's have a go then at this that can't be talked about um, or known. <laughs> <laughs> So with all that disappointment pretext, yeah, let's have a go. If you haven't by chance in a million been here before, you can just unmute yourself and go for it, or you can click in the chat function and type a question. Do you really, there is no one, there's a, there's, Really, there is no one end of story. So, really, there is no one end of story. Is that what um, you're writing, Sharon? So, really, there is no one end of story. Yeah, really, there's there's already no one end of story. End of story. Already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Frank, um, there was hi. a, hey, hi, there was a um, period where uh, some information from, I guess a really, this was a long time ago, a, a really ancient form of astrology, and, and mostly uh, throughout my seeking career, I've thought of astrology as kind of bullshit in most ways, it just feels like a product. And um, and it's funny in this astrology that we studied at this time. Basically, the theory was that human beings, um, and unbeknownst to human beings, basically are species, just like every other form. There are several limited. There's a limited number of species that all human beings are specifically born into that they actually aren't aware of, just like dogs or cats or kinds of trees, etc. And and basically according to this, um, human beings have absolutely it, it, it's 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 actually really aligned with non-duality in terms of they have no will, they have no control. They're basically like mechanical appearances. The, with specific repeating patterns, and um, I mean, it, 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 for some reason, it's really striking to me. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Uh, it keeps coming to me that, uh, like, why would we not be the same as? There aren't words in the English language for, like. Except in, in non-duality, we say things like, well, the tree is treeing, and mm. humans are humaning. Um, but there isn't actually a word for the appearance of something without a source somehow. But I'm just rambling here, but it was so curious to me, the idea that Human beings have absolutely, I mean, basically as much choice as a violin and a violin case. <laughs> mm. And uh, yeah, and I, I, for some reason, it just keeps coming up and coming up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And when I think about contemporary astrology and its tendency to analyze in the past, to predict or to 
justify whatever is happening currently or predict the future or talk about how celestial influences are affecting us, etc. It just seems like hogwash, really. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just a gazillion stories, yeah. 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 They're great though. I mean it's great fun. You get around twenty minutes. Yes. Or Thirty minutes out of it. You might get more, I don't know. Bit, you can get loads more time. They're great fun. <laughs> 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 to have your sign read yeah mm. i don't know for some reason this other thing seems sometimes incredibly... sometimes you get annoyed sometimes you are happy sometimes you are thinking about the past <laughs> yeah so it's just yeah. brilliant uh, general statements it, yeah sure. yeah yeah And they get one kind of little thing right. And I mean, they, it's all energy and it's all everything. So um, anything is possible, you know. So, yeah, I mean, once you actually come across this information and the description of the types, you can't unsee it. Like, like you can you can pretty much look at any individual, quote unquote. And, and know pretty much that they're going to be, that they are a particular type and that their mechanics are going to manifest in a particular way. And it, it just makes it really so fascinating about them, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, like you can't unsee it kind of once. It's, um, yeah, anyway, I, I, I know I'm not making any sense. It's just funny to me. and. I mean, it just aligns in so many ways with non-duality, yeah. Well, I mean, there isn't really non-duality or, um, you know, there isn't non-duality. Really, yeah. there, there isn't anything being said here that, you know, at all, really. It's, um, there, there's a sort of a, a statement you know, that um, life is authorless, that there isn't anyone orchestrating anything. Yeah. And that really is everything, in here, you know. <laughs> so yeah. after that, it's not really saying anything at all, really. And that's sort of, it appears like it's a striking sentence in the normal run of things where everything is talking to someone about their life and how their life is going to go, et cetera, et cetera. And it's normally built on some sort of knowledge framework, some description or some experience. Whereas this isn't about an experience or um, anything at all, really. There's no, um, there's nothing attached to this at all or nothing useful. So there really isn't non-duality even. Yeah. There, there really aren't words for, for that, for whatever it is that just got expressed there. There aren't, mm -hmm. there aren't, there really aren't words for what just got expressed there. I mean, I, I hear people say things like there's nothing to get, as though somehow that's a conclusion or something mm -hmm. to know about it. Yeah. But, but it isn't. No. It isn't. No. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing at all, yeah. Isn't uh, nothing isn't a thing to get. Yeah. And the essence is then um that there isn't anything in there that can have anything and that this is just free falling appearing to happen and um it's a, it's a total mystery. You see you can't begin to be interested in this or stop being interested it's just you know whatever happens so that's you can't be you know there isn't anyone in there <laughs> so but it's not like that's uh nor or 
already there isn't anyone in there. That's the beginning and end of all this. So then there's just inescapably what's appearing to happen. And there's a, there's nothing in anywhere. There's nothing in anything. Like it's not just humans. It's nothing it's, in anything. There's yeah. nothing. Yeah. Nothing full to the brim with everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And it doesn't need to be known or remembered or anything at all, you know, or held on to or, you know. <laughs> did you really have the dream with the tunnel and the yellow tiles yes I did yeah <laughs> oh, apparently Sounds like a birthing process for <laughs> dying. <laughs> yeah. Dreams are outrageous, really. It's amazing to be able to bring some, something from a dream into a, a we bring it to life through technology, it's amazing. Hi, Frank. Hi, yeah. Did you know the guy that was screaming in the yellow room? Did I what? That, did you know the guy that was screaming in the yellow room? It, it was a, a nightmare that I had, and I I yeah. wrote down I wrote down the nightmare. But the guy in it screaming in that room, you had visual. Movie. Yeah. I, yes, I brought it to life. Yeah, it, using AI technology. Yeah. Was the guy in it somebody you knew? The guy in it is AI. It's artificially made. 
Oh, the whole thing. Wow. The, the whole lot, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, you have to type in words and mostly it's, uh, you have to go through a lot of footage before you get there. But um, yeah, it's pretty powerful. And that's the next generation. That's Gen 2, but Gen 3 is apparently even more powerful, more real. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was scary. Hmm. Good. <laughs> I thought it could have been scarier, but I mean, it was scary. The dream was scary. It was sort of interesting to write it down afterwards and consider it. <laughs> hmm. But um, I suppose sometimes I, uh, it's like dreams are outrageous, you know, full, uh, um, full, what you call it, dreams. I used to have lucid dreams um, a lot, go flying in them. Um, but it's, that's, you know, uh, dreams are a sort of phenomenon. But actually this apparent immediately sitting here, this ultimate this is the ultimate phenomenon just inescapably what's happening this it's called aliveness or whatever full to full to the brim with whatever is Um, is this love slash nothing? <laughs> is this, call it whatever that you appear to call it, and it still won't get closer or further away to that? It is asking that question. So what's the response to that? Well, whatever the response appears to be. 
this is the in the this is the tree treeing or the wind blowing or the humans let's say humaning is simply this um centerless talking sharing or whatever it is appearing call it everything mm-hmm. call it shit call it the most frustrating fucking thing ever whatever would also be this call it you know it's like <laughs> woohoo oh fuck who knows And there was a green heart. And there was a green a heart. Green from the person who asked the question. Beautifully merged with everything else. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> oh, another heart. <laughs> mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe I'll try and tell you a short story. Okay. There don't seem to be any pressing questions being asked at the moment. Um, well, there um, actually, there actually I texted one, I'm, apparently. I'm just going to read this one and then you can go for it. Ah. <laughs> um, I can only report that life scares increasingly the shit out of me. <laughs> right. Well, that's what's appearing to happen. Um, but this edgy sort of full on aliveness, um, includes, uh, it feeling scary. Suddenly there is a meeting and nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. (laughs) Fearing to happen. So I might uh, finish with the first comment that was made, um, uh, which is, uh, there is already no one, end of story. So nothing happens. (laughs) Sorry about that. And for more disappointment, (laughs) you know where to go. (laughs) All right, that's love. (laughs) Happy Saturday, the rest of Saturday. Have a nice day. <laughs> bye bye. It was a good Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs>
Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs>